Hello and welcome everybody. This is the uh, second tutorial in my series. Um, this one's going to be covering basically um, orbital maneuvering and the maneuver node and the nav ball here. Now let's just jump right into the nav ball. There's one thing I forgot to mention in my last episode was that this right here, you see your speed. Um, when you're on the surface of the planet, or when you're close to the surface of a planet, because each one of them is kind of different depending, you know, on where you go, when it actually changes over, but it will change from surface to orbit. And, you know, I didn't notice that within, you know, my first few flights of this game. I didn't notice it all the way up until, um, you know, right around when I started landing on the moon and land yeah, and when I first got the Minmus and stuff like that. Um, we still have Sidzi, Frederick, and Hanbo. Nobody died, luckily. That's always a good thing. Um, so, on the nav ball itself, uh, you have your SAS, which is controlled with, with, uh, T, and you have your RCS, which is controlled with R. Um, now, when we zoom out, you can see what our orbit is, and we have our aprolapsis. Uh, I always have, I always screw up the pronunciation, and that's basically your highest point in your orbit, and your um, uh, pre-apsis, which is the lowest point. Now, uh, if you were to go, let's say we wanted to go all the way down, which I'll just speed it up here for us. I'm not going to wait 25 minutes to get there, or ever how much time it is. Now, uh, so we get down there, and uh, we want to, you know, let's say uh, we want to reduce this to bring it down a little bit more because it's just too, you know, it's just too high, let's say, or you want it, say you want to have a, like a perfect orbit, which this right now is far from perfect. So you would turn on your SAS, align to your retrograde and turn on your engine now you can see it's going down pretty fast um now let's just keep it at 120. now this one is at 110. this one will decrease just slightly it might go down by like five or four meters if you're directly on it and if you burn a little bit afterwards but i mean you really your concern really shouldn't be about you know, burning so far retrograde that you're basically gonna go back into the planet. You know, you're gonna go through the atmosphere and everything else. Uh, in in that case, you basically would be just you know going back to uh, land, basically, or you know whatever. Um, and you can see I got my space station on there, and I will show you guys that in another video because I realized that if you speed up the time and from what the, one of the commenters said if you speed up the time just like 2x it will actually you know increase your frame rate and it, you know the thing shakes a little bit I keep the SAS off but um, yeah I'll show you guys that in another video if you're curious to see it it's it's not a bad little space station so uh, yeah we got it this one at 110 and this one at 120 now what we want to do is make this orbit perfect to the point you know where they're both around 120 now mind you retrograde will always it always will reduce your speed in a sense um, and that's in orbiting only it will reduce your speed uh, when you're landing it will reduce your speed to an extent and then you will go back into prograde and you will be lifting off of a planet like when we took off from Kerbin here in this ship um, when you're sitting on the pad it's not retrograde or prograde but the minute you turn those engines on it instantly becomes prograde because your center of lift is pushing towards the uh, getting away from the ground so it would be a permanent prograde until your engines died um, okay so let's do a little burn here we need to get this up to 120. One thing I have noticed is that this, 
you know you can get it really jumpy when you get get it almost perfect the, the uh these things almost move by the, they just move by themselves and they get jumpy and they just jump around it's really weird okay so it's at 119 oh whoa i kind of okay yeah so i kind of messed that up a little bit now here's where rcs comes into play so say you made a little mistake like that you turn your rcs on and um you hold n h and n will push you forward and backwards with um the rcs field this is like the more advanced control where you can you know control what you want to do with uh you know docking and stuff like that when you're in space so let's just speed it up here a little bit wait okay yeah that's that's down a little bit just need about another thousand meters so let's uh well i was just about to hit my engine um speed up time here so you know you see these will jump sometimes when it gets really close to it yep there see um okay so just line this bad boy up and quick burn so i mean you can't get the orbits exactly perfect I mean people use like mech jab and stuff like that and I'm just I, I like vanilla play I would rather learn how to do it by myself even if it's not a hundred percent perfect than having you know some computer do it for me and having the computer do everything what's the point of playing a game if you're gonna have the computer do it all for you um, so yeah I mean this is pretty much a perfect orbit for this in, in a sense I mean it, it's off by what 200 meters it's it's nothing so um another thing too is say you want to lock on to a station you, know, you can set it as target and this right here is basically your target where you're going to lock on and if you were to burn in that direction it would bring you to that target but i can't really do that because i'd fall through the or i'd have to you know figure out how to have a special ship that will fly through the ground. So I'll just unset that as a target. And the maneuvering node I will cover right now. Hopefully there's enough time. I really don't time these episodes. I should do that from now on. Um, now these work basically the same thing as your nav ball for the most part. Um, say your orbit is a little off with a target and you'd see something like this where it's like ascending node is you know five degrees or 0.5 degrees off so you would want to fix that you know I'm not perfect with um, fixing these sometimes but yeah okay so that's that's going the wrong way um 1.3 yeah that's completely the wrong way um yes that's not the way you do it um yeah you have to click right here actually for I, I i don't know what i was thinking um yeah so you just bring these down and you know your descending node would be zero zero if you did that burn which would be like perfectly lined up with that target you can get it to like nh or something like that i forgot what it is and nmh or it's like an error or something i don't even know but it, it that's basically like the best you can get now um you know you can see the prograde here which would increase the orbit size and oh look there's an encounter with the moon too look at that um and then there's the retrograde which you know brings it back down again now these will shift your orbit a little bit like if you wanted to get more height on one side I don't really use this too often, to be honest, not for, um, you know, if you're like heading directly towards a planet, or I mean like a moon, like when you're going to the moon or something like that, it's really worth kind of using that sometimes. And another good note is whatever you're, with that, oh, let me get, let me just add a maneuver here, um, say you're burning prograde here, um, you have this 
bar right here which is indicates the amount of time or the amount of burn you need you need 190.8 you need to add that much to get that kind of burn or that kind of orbit um it will give you an estimated burn time it's not always correct so do, do not follow that estimated burn time because it is not always correct sometimes it is off by 30 seconds or 40 seconds so when you go burning to the moon you know it's always good to burn about like a good 40 seconds depending it really just depends on what engines you have but like a good 40 seconds to 30 seconds ahead of whatever it tells you you know and your send your node here is basically the amount of time it takes for your ship to travel from here all the way to where you set up this node so in three minutes and 40 seconds I will be at this point but just mind that whenever it tells you your burn is for them sometimes it's just completely wrong but um, maybe in the next episode I'll cover a little bit more on the um, the nodes and how to you know set up you know basically getting to the moon and stuff like that there's there's so much more to come with this tutorial so just hang in tight and um, I'll see you next episode thank you very much for watching and uh, have fun with the maneuvering node ha <laughs> ha